right, ladies, I wanted to show you the latest um, natural dye sample pack that I put together. And this time I did cochineal. Now cochineal can be modified to create a variety of colors. And hello, we got a variety of colors. So let me go real quickly uh, and let you see exactly what I came up with. Um, first of all, you know, I like to leave you a little card that shows you kind of sort of the natural state of whatever it is that we're using to create these dyes. And here shows you the dried up bugs that are used and then what it looks like when it has been ground up into powder form. This is what the little varmints look like when they're they're on top of the cactus. And this is the month that we're doing this. And then these were some of the little samples I did um, based on the different uh, modifiers that we put inside of the dye. So those of you that are compiling your little diary, um, those little doodads you can put in there. And as, if you've been following um, the, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the rabbit hole with me, you realize I've been using, of course, natural fibers, synthetic fibers, because it, it makes a different type of um, color on all these um, different fibers. And because these are not being used, you know, for clothing or anything like that, they're strictly, you know, for those of us that either do slow stitching or we put them in our junk journals. So those kind of factors to me, you know, if you're a purist, of course, you're going to be using natural fibers, but I'm using a little bit of everything. And it's kind of fun because we end up with different colors. So this here, this yarn, it was a, a synthetic blend, and you can see the color. When I when I brought out um, the oranges, this is the color that this came out. Um, kind of sort of like a salmon color, I guess. Not a psychedelic orange, but orange nonetheless. Uh, then I switched up um, some of the modifiers and and came out with a deeper um, orange, and this is also synthetic. But um, you can see we came up with a different color, and that was pretty cool. Um, I also uh, made, oh my, I guess like a fuchsia, magenta. I'm not really sure what color you would call this pink, but it's very bright. There's about a yard of that there. I got a, um, a white skein, and I just dunked it in some of the um, dye and just let it kind of wick up and so it's all going to be kind of variegated but this is also done with the cochineal so those of you that like to do your stitching you can use that and here is a, I guess like a 16th or 15th century illustration of those um, collecting the um, the cochineal from the cactus included that in there and then we came up with some nice purple. This is silk, and um, I love the color this came out also. Very rich, really, really pretty. I like all the colors, actually. And then this is just a piece on some gauze. And this is a blend fabric. And um, the stitching on here, I think, is with some kind of a super duper polyester or something because it did not take any of the dye. So it really highlights um, this cutaway work that's here on this fabric. So I thought it was super cool. And then I just, as a background, I thought the gray looked kind of cool on there as one of my grunge papers. So that is there. And so that it doesn't fold in shipping, it's got a pretty thick. Um, piece of uh, cardboard there and that could easily be used for a front and a back to a potential journal that you want to make to um, include um, with um, these fabrics. So that is the cochineal and all the various colors that one can achieve and all you have to do is boil a bug. Who knew? Who knew? All you got to do is boil a bug and get all of these beautiful colors. So I already um, have these in the shop. 
I think half of them are already gone. Those of you that go to my lives um, had first choice uh, the other day. And so um, if you're interested, make sure you purchase. Don't just put in your cart because when these are gone, I don't have any more. I have scraps, but I don't have everything that I have on here uh, to be able to put in the pack. So go over there and get yourself some really cool dyed bug fabric. That's all I can say.